We're now at a point where we have the majority of our posts API done. Um, when I say the majority, there is still a big component that's missing and that is comments. But if we look at everything else, we look at the majority of the views, we compare it to the views on the original site, that is the Django based site, that is the HTML site with the views that it is, basically the non API site. We compare those views and they're very, very similar with the exception of the form stuff. Um, other than that, you have minor little things here like such as post.objects.active and that of course is a model manager. Active is this. Um, so that is definitely something that you might consider using for the query sets themselves. So inside of detail or update, um, you might wanna change how that query set works depending on who's requesting that information. And we've already we've already got over that, right? So this right here is a way to do that. And then of course you could do um, filter equals to, you know, user is self dot request dot user. And you could also change like it is active and all sorts of query set related things here. We're not gonna cover that because we have a lot more to cover with the API itself. So this one we're gonna do is transition our comments views and URLs into its own API as well. So inside of the comments app, we're gonna make a new folder here. Basically, we are making a new Python module. I'm gonna call it API. And we're gonna go ahead and hit enter. Inside of there, we're gonna make a new file to turn it into a Python module by just making a blank init file. That's underscore, underscore, init, underscore, underscore, dot py. Um, that is now how we have our API here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a serializers.py. I'm gonna make another file and I'm gonna call this urls.py. And then finally, the last one is going to be views.py. Um, so we wanna emulate what we had before. So if we click on URLs, we have a comment thread that is a detail view, realistically, it's a detail view of one parent comment and then all of its child comments. And then we have a delete option. So this is not necessarily for the parent comment, it is for any comment. And notice it's going off of ID and all that. Let's go ahead and copy this URLs because we are gonna be using that exact same thing. Um, so in this case, I'm gonna leave it commented out because we haven't created the views quite yet. And then now inside of serializers, we are gonna be doing very similar serializers, but at, at, at the start, I'm just gonna do a default comment serializer. I don't know yet if I wanna use all of the same sort of serializers that we use for post because the comments themselves are gonna be integrated into the post also. Um, so let's go ahead and just copy the model serializer, the very top one. I'm gonna copy all of this stuff, bring it into serializers. And now instead of post.models, we're gonna to go to comments.models, import comment. And now this is gonna just be the comment serializer. And then it's still model serializer, comment itself. Let's go into the model also. We are gonna do content type, object ID um, and content as well as uh, parent. So let's go ahead and grab those. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna copy the fields themselves, bring it in here into the serializers, paste it in for a moment and we'll do content type, object ID and parent and then finally content. All right, get rid of these. And I might also want the actual ID field itself. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Get rid of this stuff. That was really just for our own usage so we could see it. Um, now what we wanna do is a comment list view. So we'll show all the comments and then we'll do a comment detail view and just do those two things. So I'm gonna go into my views here. And again, with the post API views, I'm just gonna copy everything from our other one because for, for a lot of it, it's gonna be very, very similar. Um, I'm gonna change a lot of this spacing though, just so it's not so spaced out. Again, from comments.models, import comment. Uh, the permissions we definitely want is owner or read only, but I'm gonna go off of the posts.api permissions. So I'm gonna use that one. And if I wanna use any of these post limit stuff, I'm gonna, I would wanna use those things as well. So post.api pagination because again it's in the post app and I'm gonna put those above the comment related stuff so that's again if we need those things or we want to use those things I don't know if we'll end up using them but for now we'll just go ahead and import them 
And then the serializer, we're gonna have this comment serializer. So get rid of the old serializer here. And the first one we said was a list view. So I'm not gonna worry about the create view right now, so comment that out. Uh, the retrieve API view is really like the detail view, so we probably will have that. So let's go ahead and make change this to comment um, detail API and comment objects at all comment and then the lookup field we can comment that out because it will be the primary key or the id uh, the update api view we might have an update api view but i am more convinced that we'll probably have a create view and a delete view so i'm going to leave that out for now i'm also going to leave out the delete view for now and then we're just going to have the list view so this is between the detail view and the list view. Which one do we actually want to have? Well, the list view is going to show us all the comments, so we might as well keep that one in there. So I'll do comment list view. This might not be in the future, but we'll leave it in for now. Comment serializer. The same sort of search can absolutely and probably should be in there if we're going to use it. Then of course, this stuff has to change slightly. So user is going to be in there, right? So we have a user for the comment. And then we'll probably just search the content itself. So it's just the user and the content. So go back into those views and we'll leave content and just get rid of title because we actually don't have a title here. All right, so there's the query set. We have all of the other stuff. Search fields itself. Again, we want to get rid of title. Um, everything else has already been imported. Uh, it's pretty much the same. So let's go ahead and import this into our URLs. We're going to uncomment this out. And again, we're using comment list API view. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it, that in and put it above here as a new URL. And just like all of our other list views, we're just gonna get rid of most of the regular expression. And we're gonna get the comment API view as view. And this is gonna be list or all. And then the next one is the detail view. Let's go ahead and grab that comment detail view. Back into our URLs, come in here as view. This is we're gonna continue to call this thread. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna change this quite yet. We might change it later, and then we will come back to delete. So now that we've got the URLs, the so serializer, and a view set up, let's go ahead and put it into our main blog project in URLs. And I'm just gonna copy the post one and just change it all to comments right above it. Comments comments and finally comments dash API okay so let's the server still running we don't have any errors if you do have area errors obviously we went through a lot kind of quick there um, so you're gonna want to check your code either against the video itself or against what's on github so let's check to see if there are any comments so we'll go to comments and we have no comments so let's just make some Makes sense why we don't have comments because we deleted a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna go in here and say new comment, post that comment and then reply to this and say another comment. And we could, we could add several more comments. If we look at the thread, we see all these comments, another comment and there we go. So this comment itself has oh, yet another new comment. There we go, so we've got the thread and all that stuff coming through here. Now, if we go back into our list, we see one single comment, right? It's showing us the comment list. It's showing us the parent. It's not showing us the children or the child elements there. Um, so that is definitely something that we will want to do, uh, but we're not gonna do it quite yet. But I do see that every each individual comment will be there. It is also not showing us the object that it's related to, meaning it's not actually wrapping it in to the project, or excuse me, the post itself. Because realistically, what we're gonna wanna see is when we go to a post detail, we'll wanna see a, like basically comments and links to all of those comments. So we wanna see that relationship, uh, which is something we just don't have yet. Um, so in the next one, we're gonna start working towards that and just really fixing the way the comments are rendered um, individually and then how they are gonna be hooked up with the post. If you have any questions on what we did here, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.